Hello everybody, this is Sebastian Furtado and welcome. So as promised yesterday, I'm back today and uh, we'll be talking about um, some some of my plans for 2023 um, in regards to my perfume collection and some advice that I could possibly, get, possibly give to people that are um, starting their perfume journey um, now. Um, but before I start... Um, just like to share with you what I was wearing today uh, it was a sample I got a bunch of these this is the Cartier Baiser Volé Parfum uh, this was launched last year and I love the Baiser Volé line it's a very beautiful Lily of the Valley Center perfume I have the classic Eau de Parfum but I'm gonna, just gonna spray a little bit more on my hand because it's faint now um, I love this oh my goodness this is this it's very much like the Eau de Parfum, but it's denser, it's not as green, it's smoother, it's creamier. And I get something smoky in here, actually, this time. This is some, it's not as clean as the classic Eau de Parfum. There's something slightly smoky here that's very interesting, actually, that I do not detect on the Eau de Parfum. So, I have a list for this year and this is in it and also Chanel Coromandel I, I fell in love with that perfume recently and it was just the right time for me to fall in love I guess and I just I'm, I'm over the moon with that perfume so I will get a bottle of it but as far as right now that's pretty much it just those two I don't have any desire to buy any other perfume at the moment so and that it's something that I will get back in a couple of minutes so if we haven't if I haven't mentioned this before I started collecting seriously about 13 years ago that was when I moved to Canada and started working making my own money and then I was able to buy whatever I wanted and I've made a bunch of mistakes back then shouldn't call them mistakes but um, this was the process of learning um i always like growing up i was always leaned towards my mom's perfumes over my dad's um you know my dad wore mostly like very classic men's perfume like uh, azaro my mom also wore azaro the the one with the brownish kind of bottle with a black cap azaro pour homme um, my mom wore that for a while my dad also wore that and but my do my dad also wore paco Rabanne, the one with the green bottle for men our money for men so he only wore perfumes for men but my mom always wore um, men's perfumes and also women's and I was all, always liked her style of perfume more than my dad's um, so when I started you know buying my, my perfumes I went a lot with male per, um, marketed scents like Bleu de Chanel Allure, um, Chanel, the one for men, um, what's the other one, many, many other, many, many others for men, and I do enjoy them, I, I, I really like how they smell, but they just don't match with my personality, and that was something that I would only learn over time, because, and with a lot of trying, and but it, it's something that has a very deep connection with who you are um, because you wear something that represents you in a way because it's your taste it's the same thing as the, the clothes you, the clothes you choose to wear it's a representation of your style of your taste and i read this somewhere i cannot remember where and who, whose quote this is but um your scent is the closest that someone will get to know you without knowing you. Um, and it's so true because when someone sees you, you know, like, okay, you probably, like, let's say I'm wearing a suit. Oh, yeah, like I'm wearing a suit because I'm at work and this is the attire that I expected for me to wear at work. But my scent it could also be something that I wear because it's in a workplace environment. 
and it's I think that this is what is acceptable but there's also a choice behind it so I mean, from wearing a suit a suit's a suit I mean the, the big difference between suits the cut and, and the fabric and things like that which a lot of people don't really pay a lot of attention to to those details but they are very much um, there and they mean a lot <laughs> um, but the scent it, it's there is even more of a personality in, in, a, in the fragrance you choose because you're putting out there, you know, I like this, I want to smell like this, and so people can know a little bit, oh, you know, if like, if you're into florals, then okay, she, she likes florals, and like, it's, it's a very interesting topic, and so my, I was going to tell many advice, no, just I have one advice only to give, discover yourself, discover um, your taste, discover the things that, um, give you pleasure um, since I don't see it as being something to be noticed I know a lot of people wear for that and I don't have anything against it but my perception of what fragrances are is it's you should wear what gives you joy what gives you pleasure what connects with you who you are as a person and that's very very important so my collection today it's pretty large. Um, I, I think I'm pretty sure I have over 300 bottles of perfume, and not counting <laughs> backups. And it's uh, very much selected to my taste, mine and my husband's. And it represents who we are in sense. Um, so I go all the way from oud, but a very specific kind of oud that I like, to all the way to eau de Cologne imperial, and a lot in the middle many 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 shades of green purple pink black gray you name it <laughs> there's all but in the pro in the process of of learning i know it, it takes um it takes a lot of money and if there was one thing that i could change that i would have changed if i could go back in time would be to not buy full bottles um just no don't buy full bottles because especially if you if you're not super familiar with the scent if it's a blind buy always try to find samples and if you can buy decants from reputable sources so you know you're getting the right thing i'm not a huge fan of decants um i don't really buy them myself i've bought a, a few in the past not many but um if if you my, my guess is in and wear the scent don't just you know just do what I did with this sample because I actually wore this today I had it all over me and this is how I know if I want a perfume or not I give full wear because if you only try a perfume on your hand like this and you make your choice based on one spray on your hand or any other body part um, it, it will it doesn't wear the same as a full wear because when you smelling here you're, you're smelling something that is quite strong and concentrated and, and it's very close to your nose. But when you give a full wear, you're getting different wafts of it throughout the day. You get different facets of it and that's very important. So when you're trying a perfume, give it a full wear like you normally would with a full bottle. I normally go through a sample like this in two wears. I, to me, this lasts. Um, depending on the scent, I can, I can wear the whole thing at once. <laughs> but this, because it's um, it's it's relatively strong. I, I, I've been, but I did. This is my third sample of this that I use. So, I've worn two already. I've used like, and I. This is my third, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it wearing it during the day. I know that if, so, but. The reason why I don't get it now is because first I don't need it now. I have a lot more perfumes in my collection that I, you know, that I wear and I can go back to. So I don't need to buy another perfume now. But um, I really, really want to make sure that I want it, and because I'm at a point in my collection that I, I'm, I have to be very thoughtful when it comes to adding something else because it's very hard for me to take something out and get rid of it. I recently sold some bottles because and it happened that most of those bottles are blind bought so that's why i haven't been blind buying 
uh, for a while. So, but some people love blind buying. You know, they love the thrill of discovering a scent, and then if it works, it works. Amazing. If it doesn't work, they just move on and tell somebody else. It's it's great. You know, like people that love that thrill. I think it's awesome. But unfortunately, it's not my style, not my cup of tea. Because to me, I think that I would lose. Yeah, I definitely lose money in that because you buy for one price and you were pretty much forced to buy for a little bit less, uh, depending on the cases. Um, so you don't really fully get that all that money back. But there's a lot of fun in doing it. I just don't do it because no, I just no, just not for me. And uh, and yes. Um, Coromandel, it's, it's for sure that I'm buying the perfume. I really have no doubts about it. I douse myself, I bathe with a perfume right now, and it's just, I love the perfume. And, but I don't need it now, so I'll wait. It's not like it's gonna go anywhere um, in the next month or so. At least I don't think so. <laughs> hope, hope, I hope that's not the case. But um, yeah, um, I'm just paying attention to and, and, and giving love to all my perfumes. And I'm definitely trying to, I will be trying to be more present on YouTube this year. And um, yeah, so I, I, th I feel that I'm forgetting something. But oh well, if I am forgetting, I will mention on the next video. So yes, um, this is pretty much it. Um, Avoid blind buying full bottles if you're in the beginning, if you still don't know your style, what gives you pleasure. And something else that's quite important, our tastes evolve, our tastes change, um, and it's fine. If, if, you, if, if today I have a perfume that I don't love anymore, but I adored it in the past, it's fine. It just means that my taste changed and I can, I can let it go. And that's also something important and um, to keep in mind. So yes, um, avoid blind buying if you're newbie, if you're still trying to decide your taste. If you don't mind w losing a little bit of money, then, then go for it. Um, and if you find that it's easy to resell, um, try to find samples. I prefer the um, official samples from the brand. But if, if not available, then I would try to go for a decant and yeah, give full wares when you're trying a perfume because that's when you're really get going to get to know what that perfume smells on you, not just on your hand. Because it's a, it's a very limited uh, testing, I find. And have fun along the way. Try everything that you possibly can because it's a beautiful, be beautiful hobby. And I love it. And it gives a lot of pleasure to me and to also a lot of people around me. So thank you very much for your time, your attention, for spending time with me, and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world, and the world needs more beauty lovers. Bye.